Here are your permanent journal rules. Permanent journals are created with a create or modify database or modify user statement. That is why there can be only one journal per user or database. Tables within a database or user will be assigned to the permanent journal within their user or database by default only if one exists, but can also be specifically defined in another database or user. If a journal table in another database or user is specified when a table is created, then the other journal table must already exist. Tables that have fallback and also specified journaling will automatically receive dual image journaling. Tables without fallback can request dual image or single image journals. Permanent journals take up perm space. If a user or database holding the journal runs out of perm space, then all transactions will be aborted. A permanent journal will no longer work or be applicable if the system is reconfigured with more amps or if a modify user or database command changes the object. This example follows all the journaling rules. As you can see in database one, we've got a couple tables. Those are journaled by the journal in database one. It's the same with database two. It has its own journal and those tables will respond to that journal. And we have user three and user, we're going to be able to journal the tables in that user. A database in a user in Teradata is the exact same thing. This also follows the rules. In our first database, we have a journal and those tables are taken care of there. In the second database, there is no journal and those tables have been assigned journals in other databases or users. And of course, in user three, we have our journal there and it takes care of itself plus from the other database. This also works just fine. We've got one journal and every table responds to that from all databases and users.